Hey everybody, how y'all doing? Just working on the 584 here, getting ready to put a clutch in it, taking the loader brackets off. I could have almost got it with the loader brackets on, but uh, one of the previous owners must have thought they needed in the side here and bent the side panel all up. So I definitely want to take this bracket off, get that out, and straighten it. So far, that wasn't bad. have lock washers on them. This bracket's gonna be. It's not too bad. <laughs> yeah, that makes things look different. Bring you guys back in a little bit. 
Hey guys, I uh, kind of got ahead of myself. I was on a roll. I meant to bring you guys along a little sooner. Uh, got the tractor split. Uh, I'm going to pull it a little further apart. Got a nice walker jack under the front. Got my other floor jack air under the back. So that way you can adjust heights and everything. Helps to line things up. So it ain't been bad so far. Uh, Let's see, I think I got hydraulic lines here that might need to, yep, go this way. They're still fast to the front. Alright, yep, that's, oops, I wasn't, sorry, it wasn't, those hydraulic lines are vibrating. Yeah, I gave her a little, she came apart just a little bit, so, uh, let me see if I can slide her apart a little further and we'll see if we can get some uh, plug up a couple of hydraulic leads. Oh. And uh, right there I drove wooden wedges in the front axle. That keeps her from uh, flipping side to side on you when you're doing something like this. So let's see what happens. coming. Yeah, everything I believe is coming like it's supposed to. Oh yeah. I think that's far enough. Oh yeah. We can work with that. Yeah. Oops, I'm in your guys' way. You are looking at my backside. There we go. Well, we got the tractor split in two. There's our clutch. So, uh, I get that damn hydraulic line to quit dripping there. See what I can find for that, and uh, I'll bring you guys back. All right, guys. I'm, I have to apologize for not uh, getting more footage of unbolting stuff on this thing, but I just kind of got in the groove, and next thing I knew, it was in. I had it in two, so. Well, that clutch is about wore out. Getting pretty close to the rivets in it, but. Honestly, I was expecting to see worse. So. Definitely going to, oh yeah, I can, they've been slipping that. And no wonder it doesn't. It's, uh, man, that's got a groove there. Definitely going to have to take that flywheel, and I had planned on anyway, taking it and having it uh, turned. So, yeah, man. Oh, well, everybody runs equipment differently. So, all righty, well, that's got that part. Uh, let's find a socket and take that flywheel off. I don't know if you guys can see or not, but I got jack stands set underneath the uh, underneath each half because them jacks are gonna they're gonna uh, leak down.
I just got that DeWalt impact wrench at Christmas. Man, do I like that thing. I bet this thing's heavy. Yeah, it's going to take a little more than just pulling on it to get it off. Alright. Well, that's it for now. I'll show you that clutch. So this side doesn't look too bad. This side's almost wore down to the rivets. So, and boy, you can feel, I don't know if you guys can see that. Man, that there, somebody's been seriously slipping the clutch in this thing. Good Lord, you can feel the, I don't know if you guys can see that, but man, you can feel the groove in that thing. Fly with, uh, I can't get in there. All right. I'll bring you back again.